Hi everyone here. I am going to start uh, topic 8. Uh, so this is the first video. Uh, in topic 7 we finished with a histogram. So here I'm going to show you some histogram that if you can see here they are uh, for example uh, like this one low here and high here or high here or low here or maybe okay so one second maybe maybe like this one goes up and down when i do the histogram but then i tell you um if i do if i do the histogram for a large scale of data okay and if i use a small classes which are these classes here okay uh, i can have a histogram like this which is a bell curve okay so i have a high so a high number here and the data is just around this part okay and it is like a bell curve i call this normally distributed okay so it is normal distribution or the data is normally distributed okay so let's um, just talk about it okay see look at here uh, yeah so if we gather data from a large population and if I do histogram for narrow classes so for many classes okay so these 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 small parts are classes okay then the histogram is going to be almost like this like a bell curve okay so I tell you probability of having a data for example for example from this to this is proportional or related you remember proportional from variation last semester okay so it varies for example um, so it, the, the lesson variation was uh, so varies inversely varies directly so we had this lesson okay so the probability of having the data so between between these two values is related to area under the curve oh okay so if i ask what is probability of my data to be under for, for example from here to here you can say okay i can find the area under the curve and i can answer so we accept that the probability of having all data under the uh, curve is one because we accept almost 100% of the data is under the curve okay so I can talk about properties of normal distribution so probability distribution under the curve is one means almost all the numbers are under the curve in the middle I have mean okay mean value or x bar so if i work with population mean x bar with sample okay then i say the data is around the mean okay related to a standard deviation okay so what do i mean here 68 percent are from here to here the yellow part from yellow to yellow 95% are from blue to blue, blue part to blue part, which is mean minus two standard deviation from two mean plus two standard deviation. 99.7% 90, are from green to green. Okay? Mean minus three standard deviation to mean plus three standard deviation okay and i showed it so i show it here okay so okay so how do i show um, normally distributed data and what what can i say about them i show it with this symbol with this symbol n mu comma sigma means my data is normally distributed and the mean value is mu and the standard deviation is sigma or n x bar and s the data is continuous means all connected and all can be real number the data is symmetry the data is symmetrically distributed around the mean yes i told you when when i go far from the mean 
the data was going down okay so it was like a balance okay the, prob the probability of getting a result okay decreases when I go far from the mean so if I am close to the mean the probability goes high and, and you saw that okay and it is a bell curve okay so we accept all of this so I told you if I want to ask for probability of a data from somewhere to somewhere I can talk about uh, uh, area under the curve but I cannot say what is area under the curve for for example for uh, all type of data so I say okay I, I talk about normal distribution sorry I talk about a standard normal distribution because I want one unique one unique um, for example one unique case I talk about that I calculate the area under the curve and I say okay this is area under the curve under uh, so for a standard normal distribution and then you can use it so if I want probability from somewhere to somewhere the data to be from somewhere to somewhere I need to find area under the curve I would say I cannot find area under the curve for all type so I find area under the curve for a standard normal distribution and I try to use it but what is a standard normal distribution that's a question okay a standard normal distribution is when I have a standard normal distribution is when I have mean equal zero and a standard deviation equal one okay oh okay so in that case this is just one case a special case I calculate area under the curve and I can give you a table and then I can say okay so you have this which is for normal distribution norm, uh, sorry a standard normal distribution then you say how about if I don't have mean equal zero and how about if I don't have a standard deviation equal one what should I do I say okay so you can do this when I give you a set of data if you use this if you do this x minus x minus mean divided by a standard deviation or x minus x bar divided by s if you do this you make your normal distribution data the same as a standard normal distribution data and then you can use area under the curve for a standard normal distribution to find the answer for for your case so we do why transform normal distribution to this okay in order to use a standard normal distribution table which I showed you which is related to um, area under the curve I need to do this transform I need that so I don't have a table of uh, area for this type but I have table of area for this part so I do the transform in order to use that table how do I do that I do x minus x bar divided by s or x minus mean divided by <coughs> um, standard deviation then instead of normal distribution I have a standard normal distribution then instead of um, area under the curve which I don't have I can use the standard one and I can find the answer for probability look at this so okay okay so if I have for example look at this if I have x from uh, if I have x from mean minus Sigma to mean plus Sigma okay I minus each side with I minus each side with sigma sorry I minus each side with uh, mean okay and then I divide all of them with uh, sigma when I divide all of them with sigma I see oh okay I see z is from minus 1 to 1 okay so when I have mean here I have mean minus sigma and I have mean plus sigma here but when I have 0 here I can say minus 1 to 1 the next case I can talk about this again see if I have X from mean minus 2 Sigma to mean plus 2 Sigma which is this part okay so here 
okay so again i add minus mean to each side and then i divide all of them with um, sigma and then i see it's from minus two to two okay so now i have from minus two to two okay and similarly i can do for the last part which is from minus three to three so if you remember it was 99.7 percent okay which are from minus three to three on normal standard uh, sorry on standard normal distribution okay so this is just the just the proof of it and i want you to see it because i want you to learn it and then uh, you don't memorize you know what are you doing and you don't forget okay once the data is transformed once the data is transformed then i can use instead of instead of normal distribution i can use a standard normal distribution z table and the z table gives me the area gives me the area under the under the curve okay so look at this here when you look at the table you see you have zero you have 0 0.1 you have 0 0.2 you have 0 0.3 and then you have for uh, for vertical okay for vertical and then you have these for horizontal and all of them are positive so what does it, this mean means the table gives me gives me the result just for okay let me just check something okay just gives me the result from for example z more than zero to z uh, to z zero okay to a value okay so for example this is z zero here okay so what is probability that i have z from zero to z zero what is z z is one note every day is just um, annoying us okay z is x minus mu divided by sigma or z is x minus x bar divided by s so do you remember that z is the transformation okay that you do you do that you go from normal distribution to a standard normal distribution oh okay it's sad so the table the good news is when i have normal distribution i can do the transform using this and i can use a standard normal distribution uh, table which gives me the area under the curve but bad news i just have probability z more than zero and less than a positive number i just have area for that part okay so i just have area for this part what is the area for this part? Okay, so what do I mean here? For example, what is probability of z less than, so more than 0 and less than 1.72? For 1.7, you go to rows. And for 2, which is the second decimal, you go to the column. Okay, so column. Okay, so what do I mean here? See, 1.7 okay 1.7 is here 1.7 is here and then 2 is okay which one is 2 2 is uh, 2 is this one okay 2 is 2 is the third one okay so now i can go here and i can find the answer see the answer is this one so probability of z to be from 0 and 170, 172 is 0 0.4573, okay, which means 45.73%, which means 45.73% <coughs> are from here to here, 